Hello everybody. So tonight I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to actually start a blog on blogger.com. Um, if you already have a Gmail account, you've, you've taken care of the first step because Gmail is connected with Blogger and a lot of the other services, um, YouTube as well. But um, if you already have it, that's good. If not, go ahead and sign up for a Gmail account. Okay, hello everybody. So, today I'm going to show you how to sign up for a blogger account to start your own blog. This is a writing blog, not a video uh, blog. So, blog. So, here I am. I, I hope it's not too crooked. I, I've tried to set it up so you can see. So, you would open up your Um, internet and up here in the URL bar up here you put blogger dot com okay blogger dot com okay enter so here it says, publish your passions your way. Now, it's going to show this screen if you are not logged into your Gmail account. If you are logged into your Gmail, it will show something else. Uh, Blogger is connected to Gmail and Google. It's all, there. Google has bought like everything. So, so if you are not logged in, you, uh, you would... See here, there's a button that says create your blog. You can go there. Uh, or you can go to sign in and create it that way. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So, But let's pretend it's your first time. You don't have a Gmail account. You don't have anything. So go create your blog. Just press that button right there. And see, I have my two. I have Betty Bois is one of my Gmail accounts. And I have a Ramble Scramble Gmail account which those of you who follow me know. Anyway, but I'm going to not use either of these. I have a few Gmail accounts. And there's one that I've never used called... I was working with a gentleman who wanted to do a tennis website, which we never ended up doing. I was going to do a tennis blog for him, but uh, it kind of got put on the back burner. and So... Um, I'm going to do that one. So that's if you already have a Gmail. If you don't have a Gmail, oh, it just be careful what you touch because uh, this is so pop. Um, if you don't have a Gmail, that's if you do have a Gmail. If you don't, just scroll down to here and go create an account and then follow the, follow the procedure for opening a Gmail email account. Um, I'm assuming most people by now have a, at least a Gmail account, even if you have one that you never used, you know, that you never used. But So I'm going to log into the one that I did for that gentleman. So I'm going to log into that one. All right. There. That's my name. If you didn't know it, you know it now. Because um, I put it on my regular account. But anyway, so there we go. So you log in. Now, here it says blogs list. Create a new blog. So then what's the title of your blog? But don't worry, you can actually change it and you can actually delete. If you decide later on you want to make another blog, you just delete this blog and make another blog. So it doesn't have to be set in stone. So I'm going to put Snappy Tennis. You know, it's a made up name, but so my blog in, you know, sometimes when you're starting out, you're not positive what you want the blog to be about, but it sort of starts to take shape. That's what happened to me with my, um, with my fashion blog. I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted. So the title of the blog is Snappy Tennis, and I want the name of the blog. Now this is a free site, so you have to use their extension. So the beginning of your blog is going to be whatever name you want to give it. So I'm going to name it Snappy Tennis. And you'll notice it pops up .blogspot.com. So whatever name you're, you're going to give your blog, 
Oh, I got my nails done. <laughs> you just put that in. It has to be all squished together for the blog address. That's your URL. And you'll see it says dot blogspot.com at, at the end of whatever the name of your blog is. So just press that one. Oh, it's not available. I think I actually already did that one. Okay. Let me go to um hmm. Let's keep um I guess I already opened that. So the name of your blog you put that same name down here and then it's going to be blogspot.com so okay let's make up another name I'm gonna say so let's call it learning learn to blog let's see if that's available you just fiddle around till you see one now the title can be anything you want that's that's not learn to blog okay and then the address Let's see if that's available. Learn to blog. I may actually have. It's called learn to blog.blogspot.com. Oh, that dress is not available either. Either. So anyway, you get you keep fiddling until you find a name that actually works. See, so up here you put the title. So that I'm this is a theoretical title learn to blog and down here you put whatever you start typing in uh, learn to blog and then the blogspot.com is going to pop up you know um, and see what it says here sorry this blog address is not available when you when you click you know so you just got to keep fiddling with it until you find one that actually works so let's see so think of a name your blog. So I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to call my blog it's a new blog the blog teacher. Now again, if you already oh, I'm going to call my blog the blog teacher. The blog teacher. Just it's a made up thing. And then that's there and then here in the second space you put the same name all squished together the blog teacher and you see what's happening as I type it's appearing underneath that's gonna be my address for the blog see I typed in the blog teacher and then I typed in the bottom space all squished together the blog teacher and the suggestion pops up I'm trying to hold this camera on my pillow so I'll just choose that suggestion that's that's gonna be your URL oh it's not available. See what happened there? It says, sorry, this blog name is not available. So you just got to keep fiddling with it until you find a name that's actually available. I'm going to keep trying until I come up with one. Okay, I just thought of something then. What I'm going to do is, instead of the blog teacher, I'm going to put in here the blog learner. But again, the title is not as important because that part you can change. What's important is that your blog address be available and be a name that you sort of can tell others easily unless you want to purchase a URL then it's no longer free you have to purchase it. It's about twelve dollars a year it's not that that expensive but you know it, it's nice if you can have a free site with an easy to remember name so the blog learner the blog learner and see what happened there. Pop the suggestion pops up. This blog address is available. Okay, so that one's available. So next step, pick what you want it to look like. And everything's changeable, so don't worry. But let's try this. Dynamic views. I think that one looks kind of nice. I picked that one. And then here it says create blog. So, click that. Create blog. And let's bring this back. It's doing stuff. It's like, there. There we go. So we get to this, this page. And you're ready to post. Okay, so 
the blog is now the blog is created what I wanted to show you here is see when I go to that blog address now before I do anything you already have a, sp a place on the internet um, this way see there's my my blog it's right there it's called thebloglearner.blogspot.com and there's my title that I just entered the blog learner and right now it says no it says no 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 nothing's there you know no posts found because I haven't posted anything yet but I already have my web space with my with my blog info so then just go here new post new post and then say hello um, new post welcome so your first post might be welcome to my blog about blogging about blogging <laughs> you know welcome to my blog about blogging and here you say you, you know, I mean, this will take you time. You type whatever, you know, pretend you, you know, just create whatever you want to write. Um, and then you're not publishing. Maybe you're not ready to publish it yet. So you'll choose, move the camera in. Over here, you'll choose over here. See, you have these choices. You have the publish button. That will make it go live on the internet and the whole entire world can see it. Maybe you just want to save it for now. You don't want it to be live on the internet, so you click save. Preview, that's how you can see it, how it's going to look on the internet without it actually being on the internet. And then close is to close it. So let's pretend I typed it I, before going live and publishing. I want to make sure it looks okay. And I want to see, it's sort of like, um, you know, get a preview. Well, that's, that's the preview. And see what I just typed, all that garble, what I just typed in there, that's there. It says, welcome to my blog, blog about blogging. That is not on the internet yet. You can tell it's not, this is just a preview. It's not really on the internet. Now, if I close the preview screen and go back here and publish it at that point it will be live on the internet so when people type in I'll go ahead and publish it and if you're curious you can go look at it now publish so now I'm seeing my you know here on my screen I'm seeing my control panel and all that stuff if you go to the actual address now, you, the public, can now see my first blog on the blog learner, blogspot.com. The blog learner dot blogspot.com. It just popped up. There's my blog. Now it's not a fancy blog, it doesn't have any pictures, it doesn't have anything. But my blog is now live for the entire world to see. And it doesn't look pretty, like I said. You and Snappy Tennis. That's that was because I used that particular email account. If if you want another email account not connected to anything, you you open a separate email account. But um, but I it, sometimes it's easy to use the same address. That shows who posted it. So. You know, it gets more complicated for here, and I don't want to get too, too complicated. This is the first lesson on how to actually get a blog online. Uh, there's all this other stuff as far as who has rights. Let's say you want five of your friends all to post on the one blog whenever they want. You know, they're good friends of yours. They can all have access to the blog with their own emails, with their own Gmail accounts, without having access to your Gmail account. They just have a shared blog. So that's why... But that that's that's later. For now, just it's just you and your own little blog. Okay, that's how you start the technical part of your, your blog. Thanks for watching. Maybe if you if you don't want to use your reg your regular Gmail account, just open a new Gmail account with 
the name that you'd kind of like your blog to be about or whatever, you know. And then think of a title. What would you like to call your blog? And again, it's a title that can be changed, so it's not set in stone. Maybe right now just do, you know, pick anything uh, just while you're learning. And you can always, once you know what you're doing, you can always change it. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs>